Hey everybody, this is Gamma Phased. It's a live channel. I'm recording live and it's going to focus in on PC software and hardware. And today I'm going to talk about TV, direct TV, cable, dish and basically I'm gonna tell you how to get rid of your cable and still watch all your shows uh, converter box antenna uh, entertainment PC all the software you need uh, programs uh, capture cards if you want to go the capture card route or both which I have both so let's get into um, probably the simplest one get a converter I recommend the view TV AT 163 it's got USB you can put a hard drive external hard drive or a thumb drive record all your shows each show records about five gigs a sh an hour show very nice I've been using this for a year love it wouldn't get anything else um, I think the media uh, other than the media sonic I think it has the same uh, interface and I have a video for that uh, if you go on to uh, the ID band YouTube channel there's a whole section on on this the antenna to get uh, everything everything you need to know S and I forget what it's called I think it's called the view TV that's the title of it so go watch that video if you're curious about how to set it up it'll show you the interface all the neat things you get to do with this uh, it's HDMI out or composite out it it uh, records to it sends a thing to a tape signal to tape uh, by composite connections and it looks great so let's talk about the PC now you have a browser of course when you have an entertainment PC set up you're gonna want to have a keyboard I recommend the iPads port. Uh, the reason why is it has lighted keyboard and a touchpad. Uh, try to stay away from mouse uh, using a mouse because they'll do nothing but slip off the pad, and you'll you'll grow to hate the mouse. So get get a keyboard like this. Or uh, Logitech's pretty good because it has the left and right key uh, for those odd things you want to do on the computer. Move stuff around. Um, so, uh, let me see. All right, I think I went through, I haven't gone through the capture card. Let me do that real quick. Uh, I would highly recommend a, this capture card because it will do the exact same thing as the uh, View TV and it'll do it software wise. Let's go to the PC. Let's get a different view here. Okay. So I have this card installed. Um, this is not this is an HDMI card but it's a hybrid card basically it can capture um, stuff coming in and then it it also has a um, connection for your antenna and I prefer the WineGuard 360 antenna so you don't have to move the, your antenna around let's show the card or what this can do Hopefully I have it on mute. Yeah, here we go. Wonderful picture 
uh, you will oftentimes get a better um, a better picture if you are uh, if you're using this rather than like direct TV because it does all its compression and stuff but this is full full-on quality uh, this record this pro this software records at um, 60 frames a second and at whatever dimensions I think this is 1980 by so basic 1080p or a little higher uh, the usual programs or the usual file size of the MPEG 2 is about 5 gigs for an hour show but the quality is just better than anything better than TV cuz yeah, that's usually 30 frames but 60 frames you can't beat it so let's get out of uh, the multi program here there's an electronic program guide show you what's coming up uh, oh yeah and this will also have a uh, program guide to it. It'll show you the whole day's programming in one. Once you're on this channel, hit EPG. It'll show you the whole day so you know everything that's on, probably up till midnight. So from all the way in the morning to midnight. Uh, so both of these are really good. They're ba basically just the same, except one's kind of in your computer and the one is a standalone box so let me change the uh, let me see how I get out of this there we go okay uh, I think you can record this and watch it at the same time and their schedules. You can schedule a recording with this as you can schedule a recording with this. And just look at the video I made. Now, real easy to schedule many uh, shows, either just a view with the converter box. You can just have it just come up to view. And I think the same with the card. And it'll just pop up, start running, pop up, and either record or just start viewing it. Same with the uh, the card capture card. So I've gone through that. The keyboard. Uh, let's go through some programming. Now, if you're not going to use the card here, this AverMedia card, you just want this is kind of like you know you have a browser. You just want to go to your Netflix for your browser here, or get some free stuff online and I'm not going to tell you where to go to get those uh, you'll just have to find them but I recommend the touch it uh, program it's a little virtual keyboard here and it's handy if you just have the the mouse and this will you can use the mouse just to type in whatever but most of the time you're just going to have a little old keyboard and you're going to need some programs okay the the main interface program here is called tag offenses go to my website gammaphase.net to get this they don't um, their website has changed and they don't let you download it but it's still free it's a wonderful looking uh, program uh, tag offenses there's also a star dock fences which I have on my main PC but this one's the tag offenses is free I highly recommend it I've got a bit torrent on here uh, you got to have your seed cleaner clean off all the clean out all the junk I recommend mighty frag uh, VLC player if you have your shows from your uh, cable converter box you've 
hooked up an external, you've made got a show on there, MPEG, or basically with this record, it's an MPEG, but they call it an MTS file. And there's a program called Merge MTS. You can get on softpedia.com, and that'll merge your MTS files if they're split up. Um, okay. Or the VLC that will play MTS files. Make sure you get the the uh, the VLC that has all the codec. So you're going to have to uh, get this get a version, the newest version, and get all the codec. Uh, I think there's there's a codec you can get that just has everything, and that's what you want because you don't want to be messing around with you know, downloading this and that just to watch a, a movie. So just get it all ready. Uh, VLC portable I've got here. Um, Windows Media Player I've got up here. Speed fan, uh, that monitors your the temperature of your um, PC. I recommend that. And uh, starter, uh, if you have to you know, use something to knock out uh, some programs that are hanging. I recommend that. So there's two others that I didn't mention, and that's Cursor Us. Let me get up the options here. Um, that's a handy little program. If you'll notice the mouse, when it reaches the end here, it'll pop over on to the other side back and forth so if you've got a little you know if you've got the little X or maximize minimize uh, thing over here you have to travel all the way over to the near the start button to hit pause well not with it this cursor us program you can just over right near the start button so you don't really have to do a lot of on your touchpad you know that's you'd have to be doing this you might accidentally like it might feel like you double click something and run some I've had that happen but this eliminates just one little one or two little movements and you're across the screen so cursor us you can get that off of softpedia as well and then one more for this uh, this keyboard just a signal keyboard and a touchpad for this this configuration which I highly recommend um, Mogi or Mog, I guess Moggy or Mog is uh, the program, and it's short for I guess it's slang for enemy of a mouse. So very very clever, and it is just that. It's just a here's the settings, real simple. There are key combinations. And it just takes pl it eliminates the mouse. So, um, of course, we have the touchpad, so you can still move your mouse around. But let's say uh, you want to look at some trailers for some movies. You know, just figure out what you're going to watch. Um, a lot of times you can't really highlight. Um, sometimes you, if if there's like a link. Um, guess you can double click on mine you can double click and it'll just highlight uh, and I have here Prometheus so let me show you how this program works it's awesome the key combination is control alt Z okay control alt Z maybe I have the settings up and it won't it won't work. There we go. Okay, if you saw that, you see there's uh, uh, I don't know if I can zoom in, but there's like little crosshairs, and they're really thin, but it's just basically right on that Prometheus. So you hit the key combination, and then it's 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 a fixed point right there where your mouse is. And then you have the you have the Z, which is your left click, middle click, and right click, 
and then here WS is your uh, scroll up and down and even the P is uh, for if you want to drag something so there you can do your right click let me do that on there let's turn her back yeah and the right click menu came up and I didn't use my mouse I used the keyboard so then you would just you know with your touchpad you you know save the the name copy the name copy then you can with your touchpad you can just go put in uh, let me hit escape I just hit escape to get out of it so whenever you're done with the crosshairs you just hit escape so let's reset the uh, the thing right right where the Google search bar is right in the corner here so I'll do the control alt Z and there it's got the crosshairs right on it and then I'm just gonna hit the key C there's my right click so then I just use my touchpad paste and search bam go over with them to my touchpad hit videos and official Prometheus official trailer you can even go up here with your um, keyboard and just type in trailer and that's it so mog uh, I don't know if you can get that on softpedia or not uh, but just put in mog in a Google search and uh, it's a very handy program so that takes care of your entertainment PC as far as you know navigating keyboard um, processes the temperature of your PC with speed fan so basically you can navigate uh, make sure you have a good browser I recommend Cyberfox uh, this is version 33 I think they're up to 37 uh, bookmarks uh, oh yeah a little handy thing for you to get in your Cyberfox or Firefox whatever you like is speed dial and whenever you make a new tab it'll have websites that you always go to I've got my Netflix I've got news I've got MMA I've got YouTube and some of those uh, channels where you get free um, free TV shows so um, I've touched on the keyboard the different things let me go into a little bit of the converter box the uh, get a 360 antenna with this and put it where your um, direct TV is on your house or in your yard on a pole whatever wherever it is it'll sit it'll it, the brackets are just made for the direct TV um, piping and stuff just take the dish off BAM works get the wine guard M M G 2002 let me see if that's right MS 2002 it's a six it's a it's almost 57 almost 60 bucks for the antenna but it's a it's a 360 it looks like a flying saucer it's about now well, it's bigger than bigger than this it's twice it's a little bit out of the frame here but it's it's looks like a flying saucer but you don't have to move it uh, around it, it picks up everything in a 360 degree I highly recommend that uh, must have because otherwise you're not going to get all the channels that you can or discover some that you never knew existed which happened with me so um, uh, again go to my YouTube channel for that uh, I think it's on the ID channel the ID band channel on YouTube and go to the view TV 
AT-163 for that. And it, it, the, the interface is awesome. It'll show you all the day's programming that day with the electronic program guide. Um, I, use, I tape most of my shows, CW, Fox, um, ABC shows, um, all those shows I tape and are really great quality. So hopefully I've convinced you to drop DirecTV. It's worth how much money have I saved? 800 bucks for the first year and then from then on whatever your bill was. like It could be a, a grand. And for me it's a grand a year. So you're going to save 800 the first year, uh, grand uh, every year after that. And all your shows are online. Just as good as quality. You get the commercials cut out of them. You just have to find find the places. There's three or so places you can go, three, four. Uh, search for free TV. And usually within an hour and a half, any new show that has just been on, they'll have it up and running, ready to go. So I don't miss any of my cable shows. There are they're uploaded and I can watch them whenever. Or Netflix, Hulu. Netflix is more movies. Hulu is more for TV. Uh, you could go that route too, which I do have a Netflix account. So um, let's just get away from uh, make them uh, just at least offer the channels that you want. Let's send a message. You know, this is the way we want to watch our TV. We want to pick our shows we like and we don't want any of the other crap. We don't want Al Jazeera because when you're paying for direct, let me make the case, let's get rid of direct TV because they will keep Al Jazeera on there, but they won't keep American Channel. They won't put the counter to that. Um, it's in my eyes, it's un-American. I don't care if they're fair and balanced. Um, that's another show that I like. Uh, that the true fair and balance. Let's uh, let's send a message. Uh, get rid of cable. Save you some money. Um, so as I wrap it up here, uh, this is my first attempt at a live stream, and I've kind of went through a lot of stuff. Um, there's other stuff I didn't get into. Um, Avermedi also has pretty much the same thing for a laptop. Little little card you put in the side of your um, an express card, I think. Put it in there. You can do the same thing. Watch watch your shows. Hook up the antenna there. You can watch all your TV shows on your laptop. This one also works very well. Okay. Um... I did go into the uh, different styles of keyboard boards. Get one with a touchpad because um, that's really saved a lot of, it's kept my enjoyment without having to use a, an actual mouse. The, the touchpad is the way to go. And anything that's lit up, you know, in case you're uh, watching in the bedroom or something like that um, very easy to do this 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 one can go out on you um, I think it's Bluetooth and it does kind of glitch every once in a while I just turn it off turn it back on it works fine but this is kind of glitchy so I haven't had any problems with the Logitech so I think I've gone through I think you can pretty much customize it however you want, but I've I've gone through some really neat things, kind of the, some of the basics that you need just to get by with uh, the little keyboard setup and whatnot. So as I close her down here, I uh, want to thank you for uh, sticking with uh, 
this new channel of mine and hopefully I can uh, maybe do some more on a w wide variety of, of things if you want to uh, leave like some feedback on maybe there's some programs out there and that's basically what I'm kind of interested in is um, kind of programs for your piece uh, like a media PC you know if you've got some hints um, maybe some other programs that I miss that I might want to look into uh, just leave some some ideas down if you want so it's this probably been long enough um, I think I've gone through pretty much everything uh, just leave a comment um, so I'm kind of interested in uh, kind of how your PC is set up uh, let me leave it there let me start shutting her down there and uh, hopefully you stay with gamma phased I'm gonna try to do some more and uh, hope this has helped <laughs>